Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here, and look what's just turned up my new Gigabyte G1 GeForce GTX 1080 from Nvidia. This is going to go along my EVGA Founders Edition GTX 1080. Now you're probably wondering why not just buy another Founders Edition? Why are you mixing and matching? Well, truth is, I only bought the Founders Edition because it was the only thing available on launch day, and it is. Um, not the coolest GPU or the quietest so having two of them isn't exactly the best option for me so looking around I thought the G1 was the best option to mix because it's just a black card virtually the same dimensions and um, it has um, RGB as well so I should be able to match the G, uh, the Gigabyte logo with the green of the GeForce GTX on on the founders edition so anyway let me just quickly get into unboxing this card as you can see it's a massive box way bigger than my EVGA founders box so let's see what's inside just going to give you a quick look at the rear of the box before I go ahead and open it so you can see it has a massive um, cross section and uh, explanation of how the Windforce 3x cooling system works which is pretty cool it shows you how their airflow um, goes through the fans and how it cools the GPU. It also has a small section explaining what GPU gauntlet sorting is and um, to, to summarize really it's just they bin their GPUs in an effort to get a higher overclocking average um, and standard of, of their graphics cards on a G1 so they also explain the 16.8 million, uh, million color customizing RGB um, what they have on the card so that's that's pretty much it in terms of the box. So there's not much going on, but um, obviously very informative uh, for people who just want to have a quick idea of what what they actually buy. So the interior box is just um, pure black with G1 Gaming on it. Then it has a small um, inner box, what basically doesn't have much on it, just um, the driver manual and the driver CD. Um, so it's nothing great in this and obviously the card itself so it's well packaged that's the main thing you don't want a damaged card on arrival so let's see what this thing looks like in all its glory looking at the card in all its glory not a massive fan of the orange accents on the on the GPU itself but once it's installed you don't see them anyway so it's not a massive deal but if you are very very picky about your aesthetics then this may be a deal breaker for you so as you can see it's got the free fan design triple fan design so should keep it really really cool I'll just take you around the card now so looking at the top of the card you can see the Gigabyte logo this is obviously fully supported by red green blue also has a fan stop button, I think also lights up, single 8 pin power connector so no variation from the original founders edition PCB, it does have some differences but nothing major. So for those interested in the rear IO of the card it's got 3 DisplayPort 1.4, 1 HDMI 2.0 and 1 DVI-D. So that's pretty much it. Um, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 G1 Gaming about to get it in my system for some SLI action